Hi, this is Matt Mowry, Dryland Linear Bearing Product Manager for IGUS North America. Today I'm at our virtual trade show that we've set up here in IGUS headquarters in East Providence, Rhode Island. And today I'd like to talk to you about Dryland W. It's available in size six millimeter diameter all the way up to size 25 millimeter diameter. There's a lot to go through and I'm gonna to try to keep this short and concise for you. Two main designs, a single rail version and a double rail version. A single rail is used just like a lot of other linear guide rails where you need two for an application to mitigate the swinging around the moment of travel. So this series we have both in round and square. The round is available with a lot of different options from zinc die cast carriages, which are very low cost. We have versions that we call turn to fit, which offer adjustment between the carriage and the rail. We also offer preloaded versions with several different preset preloads, which are guaranteed to have a certain holding force and friction force over the product's lifetime. We also offer these in low weight aluminum carriages, as well as 316 stainless carriage options. The nice thing about this is that the 316 version Ball bearings can't run on 316, which is the best series for saltwater use or very highly chemically resistant requirements. We also offer this in our very popular double rail configuration. So the double rail configuration eliminates the requirement to have two separate guide rails. We have one extrusion with two guide rails extruded on to the single piece, several different diameters, several different widths from six millimeters by 30 to 25 millimeters to 120 millimeters wide. This series is available with carriage assemblies with a standard plate, again, in various widths. We also have a mono carriage version here, which eliminates a lot of the components and just basically has our lubrication-free plastic bearing liners clipped into a single piece mono guide carriage. The guide rails are all based on aluminum extrusion profiles for low cost. We also offer a clear version and a hard anodized version. You can get them with and without holes. We also offer, like I said earlier, the 316 stainless models. We've used the Dryland W as a platform for many of our linear actuators as well. This is a series we call SAW, available with a lead screw, several different leads, several different diameters, several different sizes. We offer stepper motors, DC motors, brushless DC motors. We have the motor flanges available if you want to basically couple to your own servo motor. We have sensors, we have the motor cables that go along with it, as well as a D1 drive system. Just like all Dryland products, you can calculate the service life online. You can download the CAD files. Dryland W is a very large series with a lot of different options. I didn't cover everything today. There's other series available with clamps. There's other series that are based on gear rack drives. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me at the phone number or email address below. And again, I thank you for your time and look forward to hearing from you in the future.